Hey everybody, this is Andre here with the Kevin Breeze channel, and in this video, we're going to be going over the top 5 reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy S10 in 2021. Now this phone was released in March 2019, so it's getting to be a couple years old, but there are definitely still some things about it that provide a lot of value today. And we're about to go over five of the best things about it. Now if you want to get some more information about the pricing and availability of the device, or just some more general info about the phone, be sure to check the link in the description. This link is going to take you right to the phone on Samsung's website, where a lot of the time, they run some great trade deals that you might not be able to find anywhere else. That being said, let's get started. So the first reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the camera. The Samsung Galaxy S10 has a 12 megapixel rear camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 2x zoom, a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, and of course for the front facing camera, this camera is 10 megapixels and it's a hole punch that looks really nice as well. Overall, the camera setup, from the front facing camera to the rear setup on the back, it all looks really nice. Even almost two years after its release, it still looks really modern, really sleek. I think Samsung did a great job on the design. And not only does it aesthetically look nice, but it also performs really well. This is the regular camera mode, and as you can see here, the colors are very well balanced and the image is super crisp. It looks really professional and if I were taking pictures for content creation or something like that where you really need the best pictures you can get, I would definitely consider using this camera. This is the ultra wide mode for the phone. On a brand new phone around the same price that you can get this phone for, the ultra wide is most likely going to be either a little bit blurry or a little bit distorted, kind of warped at the edges, but this phone is neither of these things. In fact, the ultra wide camera is actually higher megapixels than the normal camera. So the image stays perfectly sharp, the colors are really balanced. It's honestly one of the best ultra wide cameras I've ever used. This is 1.6x zoom, so really not even at its potential, and it does look really nice. You can see the details really close up. It's really similar to a macro camera in that sense, but it's actually a little bit better because unlike a macro camera, you don't actually have to put the phone right up against whatever you're taking a picture of to get these details. You can simply just zoom in. And I really like that because the macro camera, as good as it is on some phones, still doesn't have the versatility that a telephoto lens does. And the telephoto lens on this phone is great. This is the front facing camera for the Samsung Galaxy S10. As you can see, the image is really high quality. It's super crisp and the colors are perfectly balanced. I really can't even think of anything wrong with this camera. It actually has just as good quality in the front camera as it does in the rear camera. And you really don't see that that often. Even with a phone like the iPhone, which is a comparable flagship phone to this phone, you will be able to tell that the rear camera is a bit higher quality than the front camera. But with this phone, it's really similar and it really does look great. So overall, the camera for this phone is a huge benefit, definitely a great reason to buy this phone. Personally, I look at the camera as one of the first things when I'm considering buying a new phone. And this is definitely near the top of the list because this camera is very high end and for its price, it's going to be really hard to beat. The second reason to buy the Samsung Galaxy S10 in 2021 is the display. This phone has a 6.1 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440p, a PPI of 550, an aspect ratio of 19 by 9, and a screen to body ratio of 88.3%. So this phone really has extremely thin bezels. And not only that, but the display is very high quality. With the Super AMOLED display, the colors are going to be a lot brighter. Most of the phones in this price range that are brand new usually have something like an IPS or PLS LCD display, which is not going to have as bright of colors as the Super AMOLED display. And the resolution of 1440p is a great benefit as well. Again, usually the phones around the similar price range are going to have a resolution of 1080p. And the PPI is great too. Overall, if you're doing lots of content consumption, if you're watching lots of high quality videos, or if you're playing games on the phone, that's another thing where the quality is going to be really beneficial. The graphics are going to show up a lot better on a phone like this than they will on a phone in a similar price point. Another thing about this phone that's pretty cool is 
even though it's not the biggest phone out there as far as the size of the screen in itself goes, it not only has thinner bezels, so that kind of makes up for it, but being a smaller phone makes it a little bit easier to carry in your pocket and to do things with. Sometimes with those bigger phones, it just gets to be a little bit too much. Whereas this phone, while it's not small by any means, is still manageable. That combined with such a high quality display makes it a really great value, especially for what you're gonna be able to get this phone for today. Another great reason to buy this phone in 2021 is its performance. It's getting eight gigabytes of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor. I ran a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this phone and it came back with a single core score of 654 and a multi-core score of 2434. Now this is very powerful. Most phones in a similar price point that are brand new are not gonna be getting this type of processing power. It's gonna be significantly less, probably more in the 1800s range or even in the 1500 range. So you're not gonna be able to do nearly as much with those phones as you can do with this phone. If you're doing more high performance activities like video editing and gaming that are really demanding and require a lot of power, then this is definitely gonna come in handy. Even when you're doing simple things like browsing the web, this is definitely gonna make a difference. It's gonna be a lot faster when you look things up. So overall, the more processing power, the better. And this phone definitely has an insane amount of processing power, especially for its price. So you're gonna get a lot of value out of it, especially if you're doing more demanding activities. Now the final reason to buy the Samsung Galaxy S10 in 2021 is the storage. This phone has 128 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. To put that into perspective, entry level iPhones, which are quite a bit more expensive than this phone currently is, have about 64 gigabytes of internal storage and they don't support micro SD card expansion. So with this phone, you're not only getting a similar processing power and performance to an iPhone, if not a little bit better depending on the age of the iPhone, but you're also getting a lot more storage. In fact, it's double the amount of internal storage as those entry level iPhones. Not only that, but it also has the potential for micro SD card expansion, which those phones don't. So this phone definitely has a huge edge in that regard. If you're doing a lot of content creation, if you take lots of photos and videos, or if you're doing gaming, if you have more complex, larger games, because apps these days are getting bigger and bigger. So more storage is usually better if you're doing any of that kind of stuff, then you're gonna benefit from having this much storage. But those were our top five reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy S9 in 2021. If these reasons were compelling to you and you wanna find a Samsung Galaxy S10 for yourself, definitely check the link in the description. This link is gonna take you right to the phone on Samsung's website, where a lot of the times they run some great trade-in deals that you might not be able to find anywhere else and this is gonna make it a lot easier for you to find the best deal for yourself. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.